Okay, so we're finished with the adding and the subtracting of the monomials. So now we're going to get on to the part two, which is multiplication. And for the multiplication step, we're going to learn a few rules that are going to help us to multiply these things. Okay? And so we're going to start with the first part, which is multiplying monomials. And we'll move to the next. Okay. So everyone write this down in your notebook. You have the rule of exponents for the products of powers, okay? For all positive integers, so if the exponents are positive, when you multiply two monomials with the same base, you add the exponents. So if, you mul so if you're multiplying a to the whatever number, the m, and you multiply it by a to the n, something else, as long as the bases are the same, those I still have the same a, then I'm going to add my exponents, okay? So let's see how that looks in real life, okay? To multiply two powers having the same base, you add the exponents. So let's say I want to multiply x cubed and multiply that by x to the fifth, okay? Well, what is this really? This is, here's my x cubed here, right? Because it's x times x times x. And then here's my x to the fifth. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. And so really, if I multiply those all up, what is it? It's x to the 8. And so I can find that without writing all those x's out by just adding the exponent. So if I have the same base, namely x, then 3 plus 5 is 8. So x to the third, or x cubed, multiplied by x to the fifth is x to the eighth. Does that make sense? <coughs> That's pretty simple, right? We should that before we take the quiz. <laughs> OK. So let's wait. see. No, wait. Oh, you're not done copying that? Yeah. Okay. I'm slow. I'm just going to move it up just slightly here. Okay. So let's do a couple of these, and you'll see how easy they actually turn out to be. They're really not that bad. Okay. And by the way, this is all we're copying right out of your textbook. So if I go too fast sometimes, you can find all that right in your textbook. You, you don't have to, uh, if, I write, if, I, if I go a little too quick. OK. So what? let me move the screen up. For what? You're taking a picture of the notes? So you need a picture? Oh, I'm not sure what you're asking. He's, 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 on notes. Notes. he's what? On the notes on your phone. On our oh. Um, well, they're right in the textbook, so you don't need to. Can I actually take a picture of it? Well, you can do it after. Take a picture of your textbook. It's the same as in your textbook. It's all it is copied on the screen. Okay. So let's go around. Alex, if I have b to the seventh power, and I'm going to multiply that by b to the fourth power, what am I going to get? 11? I'm sorry? b to the 11th power, you think it's going to be b to the 11th power. Who agrees with that? Who thinks it's going to be b to the 11th power? Me. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Dan, if I multiply w to the 6th power and I multiply it by w cubed, what am I going to get? w to the 9th. All right, it gets it gets a little more difficult now. That that part was pretty easy, right? Okay. Now, if I'm multiplying constants, you know how to multiply constants or constant figures. Okay, it's just regular multiplication. So, Eric, if I'm going to multiply three n squared and I'm going to multiply by four n to the fourth, what am I going to get? Um, twelve. 12 n to the 6. Does everybody understand that? 3 times 4 is 12. Notice this is the same as 3 times n times n times 4 times n times n times n times n. Times n. And notice multiplication is commutative. That means that you can change your order, okay? So this is the same as 3 times 4 and then. And notice there's 6 of them. Okay? So yeah, it's 12n to the 6th. 
All right. Let's uh, let's step it up a notch now, Desiree. What am I going to do down here? I have negative three a cubed b squared multiplied by five a b to the fourth power. What am I going to do? And what am I going to get? Negative 15. Everyone sees that. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. A to the fourth power. A to the fourth power. Notice, A to the third plus A to the first. If there's no exponent written, we know that's to the first. So A to the fourth power. And then B to the sixth power. And B to the sixth power. And your A to the sixth power. <clears throat> okay. So it's negative 15, A to the fourth, B to the sixth. Okay? Is that simple enough so far? Did I lose anybody? No. Not yet, but you will. I guarantee okay. it. Well, let's see. All right. Now we have some multiplication of some fractions. All right. So it's sort of uh, the same concept now. So we're, just adding, we're adding a little more to it each time. So Katie, if I'm going to multiply these fractions, how do I multiply fractions? So you're going to multiply the numerators, and then you're going to multiply the denominators. denominators. Good. So let's see. What would the numerator be if I'm going to multiply that? Answer. She's working on it. Give her a moment. 240. 240. X to the fifth. X to the fifth. Y to the sixth. Y to the sixth. And what's my denominator going to be? 25. <clears throat> and now what will I do, Katie? 25 into 240. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to do that? Sure. It, you, you can tell it's not going to be even. It's asking so much. Please. So you're going to have to reduce a little bit, right? I suppose. Okay. So wait, what am I doing? You're going to have to reduce 240 and 25 and then give me what fraction that is. So what number will go into both of those evenly? I don't know. 5, right? Yeah. 5 will go into there evenly. So what's 240 divided by 5? I'll try. Divided by five? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wait, just kidding. How many, just kidding. How many times? Think of it like this. How many times does five go into a hundred? <coughs> how many nickels Four. are there in a dollar? How many nickels are there in a dollar? I don't know. Alright. One. Twenty. That's so so a hundred divided by five is twenty. So two hundred would be forty. How many times does five go into forty? Nine, eight. Eight. So forty-eight. And what's 25 divided by 5? 25. So that's your answer. It's 48x to the 5th, y to the 6th, divided by 5. And you might also see this written this way. This is okay right now. I'll leave it like that. But you may eventually, you'll see it like this. 48 fifths, x to the 5th, y to the 6th. Okay. Okay, let's move on to this next one here. Okay, let's do this one, Elise. So let's work with me here on Elise. How are we going to do this? So notice I have this quantity multiplied by this quantity, and then I'm adding it to this quantity minus this quantity. So what do I need to do first? Okay, good, because multiplication becomes before uh, addition. You notice there's nothing you can simplify within your groups. Groups would come first, but there's nothing to simplify because all you have is constants and variables. You have numerals, coefficients, and variables. And then you have no exponents that you can simplify as well because those are all simplified in lowest form. So the next thing is just addition, or I'm sorry, multiplication from left to right. So we're going to multiply the two sets. So how am I going to multiply the first one, Elise? So how am I going to multiply this and this? What am I going to come up with? 
Negative six. X to the sixth power. Y to the seventh power. Plus eight x to the sixth power and y to the seventh power. Okay. Now notice what you have here. Now that you're down to this step, you have exactly what you had from the previous chapter, the adding these polynomials. So notice what you have. You have like terms, don't you? Because other than the coefficient, other than that number out in front, you have exactly the same expression, right? x to the 6, y to the 7. So you can just add those right up. So what is negative 6 plus 8, Elise? Mm -hmm. So you have 2x to the 6, y to the 7s. Okay? Notice again, just so everyone sees it here, you have like terms because your variable expressions are identical. The only thing different is your coefficient. So you just add your coefficients. Okay? Any questions on this one? Okay, we're good on that one. Okay, and that was the new stuff. So what I'm going to do now is, since you